Hi, in this video, we're going to simplify this. So the first step is to factor everything completely. So we're going to look at this 81 and we're going to factor it as a product of primes. So solution. We can write 81 as 3 to the fourth. This becomes 3 to the fourth. Then here we have x to the fourth. And we have our y cubed. And now we want to basically extract everything uh, that's written to the third power because if we have the cube root of, say, x cubed, that's equal to x. So we need everything to the third power. Let's see how to do that. We can borrow a 3 cubed from the 3 to the 4th. I'll put that here. And we can get one from the x to the 4th. And then we have also the y cubed. So all of these pieces here are cubed. I'm just going to put them in parentheses here to indicate that we've taken the cubed out of this one, out of this one, and then this one we've just copied directly. So what's missing to get 3 to the 4th is a 3, because it's really 3 to the 1. And you add the exponents when you multiply these. 3 to the 1 times 3 cubed, 3 plus 1 is 4. Same thing here, we're just missing an x to the first power because x to the first power times x cubed is x to the fourth. And so now what we can do is we can write this entire thing to the third power. So this is the cube root of 3xy, and then the whole thing is to the third power. Okay, And then here we have cube root 3x. You see, that's the idea. We want to use this basic idea where we have something to the third power. And now these basically cancel, so we simply have 3xy cube root 3x. And that completes the simplification, so I hope this has been helpful. Good luck.